most people are using ChatGPT for very surface level tasks to ask random questions, help perform research, maybe even help write a blog post. But if that's all you're using it for, you are missing out because you can build entire lead generation strategies using ChatGPT. From ICP research, to trigger pain points, to messaging, to content, literally everything. You can even get insights from your sales calls and have it pull out the key points and what you need to know and even what you could work better on next time. Inside our social selling programs at Luminetics, we use ChatGPT every day for founders, sellers, and teams to be more effective and scale their outbound campaigns faster. Let me show you how we do it step by step. The first step is to define your ICP exactly who it is you're targeting, your ideal customer profile. You should already have this figured out and you should have it documented either in a spreadsheet, a Google doc, whatever you use, but it's really important that you're crystal clear on this because if you don't know who you're targeting, I'm sorry, AI, ChatGPT cannot help you. So figure that out. What industry are they in? What is their job title? What keeps them up at night? What results do they actually care about? You can use ChatGPT to map this out for you and put it in a nice clean document. Inside our LinkedIn Profile Profits program and our Posting Power program, we have an entire ICP insights framework that we have our customers fill out and then they upload that to ChatGPT. They can also get help from ChatGPT to build that out. And it helps pave the way for everything from messaging to content to really digging deep into the reasons that your potential customers would wanna even do business with you. So again, those deep pain points and then the end result that they are wanting. So as an example, I'm going to walk you through this right now, just using ChatGPT out of the box. Keep in mind, I do have the paid version for just $20 a month of ChatGPT. So what we're going to do is ask it to list off the main priorities for our ICP. And I already have an example worked up for you guys, but let's go ahead and do this now. So go to ChatGPT and type in something like this. So list the top three business priorities and recent challenges for job title at company given the current market trends. And so for this example, we could do um, VP of sales at Carta, which was one of my clients, given market trends in, let's just keep it broad and say startups since uh, platform. Okay, let's see. Here we go. Here are the top three business priorities for a VP of sales at Carta shaped by current startup market dynamics and the recent challenges. One, driving predictable revenue growth. I'm pretty sure they could say that for any VP of sales role. Building scalable, repeatable GTM playbooks with Carta serving startups across cap table compensation, liquidity, liquidity and fund tools. Do, do, do. Cohesive messaging challenge, prolonged and more complex sales cycles. Buyers are cautious and tightening markets, okay? Second, lean AI enabled sales efficiency. Okay, third, multi-stakeholder buyer first engagement. And then we go on and on. Additional context, trust and reputation. Carta exited secondary trading business in 2024 following concerns around cap table data. Market headwinds, startups are hiring leaner, tightening budgets and prioritizing runway. Omni-channel selling. And then here's a table, right, of what they need to do. So the priority, the sales leadership focus and the core challenge. So this is giving us a lot of good info right here. TLDR, a VP of sales at Carta might focus on building repeatable GTM strategies across its suite. Okay, so after we have that, then we want to build messaging around this persona. And this is where most people blow it. And I'm not gonna be able to show you all the amazing ways from ChatGPT because you have to use your brain here. Don't use AI to write your outbound messages. We're just gonna get ideas, but ideally you pull in a simple framework that works for you for your outbound messages and then have ChatGPT follow that and insert in the triggers. So I'm gonna show you a little bit of this now, but the problem is most people are way too generic with their value props and that's not gonna stand out. You need very specific value propositions in your messaging for your specific target audience. So what we're going to do is take a template and then we're going to paste this into ChatGPT and see what it comes up with. Okay, so now that we have all of this glorious information from ChatGPT, we need to tell it what it is that we do, obviously. If you use ChatGPT all the time, it probably already knows 
but we need to give it information about us. The more information you give it, the better. So in this example, I'm just going to say, I am a founder of a LinkedIn training agency, luminetics.io. I will have you help me with messaging for this. Please stand by. Thanks. I'm gonna put great in here, so it knows. Okay, I have all sorts of typos all the time, but it's okay, it's used to my typos. So, here we go. Now it says, got it, I'm ready. So what we're going to do is give it a very quick and dirty template it can follow, and then we're gonna go from there. So, let's say something like this. Please follow this template, keep it really short and to the point. Okay, now, you can use all sorts of tools. There's tons of AI tools out there that help you find specific triggers. So a specific trigger is something like these things right here where he's linking to certain things. He, ChatGPT, whatever you wanna call it. And it's giving you certain information. Now, I like using perplexity a lot for research. Um, I use different AI tools for that, but we're just gonna say you already have some of those and we're just gonna keep this really short and to the point right now. So for now, Hey name, personalized statement. This would be something like you notice something. Plus trigger, plus how your solution can help, plus question. So personalized statement could be like, enjoyed your LinkedIn post yesterday about X, Y, Z, right? Or it could be something completely unrelated to business. It could be something fun that you saw on their social media somewhere. Maybe they were in a podcast episode recently. You can mention that. Then you could go into the specific trigger, how your solution can help, and question. So we need to see what ChatGPT comes up with here and then go from there. Okay, oh, of course it used the dang M dash. We <laughs> have to ditch the M dash. Hey, first name, Saul Carter's team is doubling down on sales efficiency while navigating longer deal cycles. We train sales teams to use LinkedIn plus sales nav to build pipeline faster without burning bandwidth. Worth a quick chat. Okay, so this isn't the best, but it does what I told it to do and it's short. And that's what I'm trying to get across is you guys have to keep this short. One version that's focused on AI fatigue. Sure, give me AI fatigue. Now, I would say something a little bit better than what it came up with, but it's a good starting point. Notice a lot of teams are overwhelmed by new sales tech and AI overload. We help reps cut through the noise by using LinkedIn and sales nav the right way to drive conversations. Okay, again, these are not the best, but it is getting the point across that I'm trying to make here. Okay, now to show you an, an example of a completely different email from a completely different business, I'm gonna paste it right here, but this is an example, hey David, Saul, you just got FDA approval to proceed with the fibroblast, fibroblast activation protein inhibitor. Wowzers. Foppy, foppy clinical trial. As you launch this trial, we usually hear that manual paper systems and Excel databases create extra work that could delay startup dates. We're helping operations leaders capture trial data more easily to shorten startup timelines in under four weeks worth a quick chat. This is an example of something that is super, super specific. I have no idea what the heck fibroblast yada, yada, yada is. Foppy, I like the name Foppy though, but it's really crystal clear. So saw that this just happened. Usually when this happens, we notice that this happens as an outcome. We're helping solve that problem. Can we help? So this is kind of the framework we wanna go with and literally you can have ChatGPT help with this. So you're gonna to have to tweak this a little bit more and play around with ChatGPT, but I just showed you a really fast way to get started with doing that. So we actually created our own GPT for our next wave members inside our membership and it walks you through research and writing messages and emails for your ICP. Let's see what it does here for the same ICP to see if it's any better. Moment of truth. VP of sales at Carta. <laughs> Let's see what it comes up with. I actually haven't done this before for this particular one, client. Okay, so recent milestones, reported 1 billion in ARR, sales and marketing snapshot. They have open roles. So this is good for me. Hey, first name, noticed you're hiring 10 SDRs at Carta. That's amazing, congratulations on the growth. Usually when SDRs are hired, they go through an onboarding system. Curious if social selling on LinkedIn is part of your onboarding. That's just something I made up, right? But that could work, and that's something super short. Okay, so here it is. It's literally writing it. At cold email number three. Oh, sorry, cold email. Three lines, one soft CDA. Hi name, at your scale, doubling SDR output with doubling headcount becomes crucial, especially when your CRO just highlighted AI as a key lover. That's kind of cool. So it pulled in what the CRO said somewhere up here. 
which we're not going to look at right now. I help companies like Carta enable SDRs with AI and deal desk process enhancements that actually double their productivity and shorten their sales cycles. Would love to share a few examples over 15 minutes. Okay. I am not a huge fan of saying would love to share a few examples over 15 minutes and don't ask for a chat right away. Personally, I don't like that. And this is a little too throwing out jargon. I would totally simplify all of this. You have to remember too, to talk to your prospects like they are 12, it works better. So ChatGPT is not great at doing that unless you really, really train it. So I'm showing you this system, but you're gonna have to take what it gives you and then spin it in your own words and really simplify it for people. And don't use M dashes, please. It's gonna be obvious you use ChatGPT. LinkedIn message, saw card is doubling down on AI enabled SDR teams to fuel your 1 billion plus ARR growth. I've helped similar teams ramp pipelines two times faster while keeping legal bottlenecks in check. Would love to share a couple of short case studies. Mind if I send them your way? Yeah, I mean, that's not terrible, but you get the point. So another really cool thing that I love about ChatGPT is you can upload, when it comes to lead gen, you can upload your entire sales transcript and tell it to pull out certain key points. And then you can use that in your messaging for other prospects. And you can use that in your follow-up messaging for that particular prospect you just chatted to. And you can use that for your content ideas as well. So let me show you how that works real quick. Okay, so we are going to open up a new thread here on ChatGPT, and I use a tool called Sybil AI. It's amazing, I'll put a link below for you guys to check it out. And it is my note taker. There's lots of note takers out there. And so it already does this for me. I don't actually use ChatGPT for this, but because this is the video I'm making, I'm going to show you how to do that. So even if you use Zoom, it will record everything and the transcript. So I'm literally going to take, and I'm gonna say this. Hi, I want you to pull out key points from this sales call I will paste to you now. Okay, and then I'm gonna paste these in. What are the top pain points mentioned? Summarize objections I should address in my comment. Write three outreach hooks based on the transcripts. Okay, I will paste next. Okay, so we are going to paste this now. Okay, so here we go. We have the buyer snapshot of this individual's role at Brinks. We have the current focus is standing up a brand new SDR function. He's exploring LinkedIn as a channel. He wants to crawl before you run. He wants to pilot key pain points, low adoption of LinkedIn, no sales nav licenses, contents being used, isn't being used, need systems accountability and proof of impact and details looking to prove ROI, messaging framework, one line description Brinks is evolving from a legacy security brand to modern GTM team. Value prop, help turn social selling from random acts into a repeatable system that SDRs and AEs actually use so your pilot proves ROI and unlock scale. Yes, 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 yes. This could be said for pretty much any prospect too. Subject line, Make your, making your LinkedIn pilot too good not to scale. Ooh, I like that. Short email. Hey Mohib, loved hearing how you're championing LinkedIn at Brinks for that 10 person pilot. I can help you build a plug and play system sellers actually follow from profiles to comments to smart outreach and content flow. Want me to sketch a rollout plan for your SDRs and AEs? Awesome. Soft CTA, LinkedIn DM. Okay, so as you can see here, it literally took this from one of my transcripts. Now, you could say something like, great. Now, if I'm targeting similar people like Mohib and a similar company, also in the early stages of rolling out a social selling SDR team, what are some original outreach messages I can use? So not only is it gonna give you what to say to that particular prospect that you're talking to, but it's gonna give you ideas for new leads. Okay, email one, if your SDRs are just starting to explore LinkedIn, the key is making social selling feel natural, not like another tool. I help enablement teams crawl before you run. Okay, not bad, LinkedIn. Saw so you're rolling out social selling at blank company. I built a few plug and play SDR pilots. One's reps actually use. Want me to send over a quick example. That's cool. I like that one. Invisible ROI. Most sellers say this content is great and then they never use it. I help teams turn, like yours, turn dusty assets into high touch LinkedIn plays that drive comments, DMs, and replies. If you're testing a social selling pilot, happy to share how others are proving ROI early. Okay, cool. So there you go. 
I just uploaded a sales transcript from a sales call and it's giving me information to reach back out to that individual that I talked to, but also information that I can use to reach back out to prospects who are in a similar situation as the individual and the company on the sales call I just had. So pretty cool. This is just scratching the surface of what ChatGPT can do. I have tons of custom GPTs I'm building out all the time and I'm sharing with our customers and our members inside Next Wave membership and building out custom GPTs for clients. So if you wanna help with this or if you wanna join us, uh, links are below. But if you're not using ChatGPT like this right now, you should start. And I'm just picking ChatGPT because it's my favorite use whatever AI tool you want. I just like it because I can use custom GPTs and all the things. So please do this. Don't just use it for research. There's so much more potential here. And if you want to take it a step further, you could get content ideas from this. Now it's not going to be as amazing as our Lumi post writer, which writes LinkedIn posts for you, but you could even say something like, okay, great. Now give me three LinkedIn posts from this information I gave you and then see what it comes up with. Not bad. So it's giving you post ideas as well. So the sky is the limit here on what you can do with this when it comes to creating a lead generation system using ChatGPT. But as you know, knowledge without execution means nothing. So make this part of your weekly habit. Put it down to use ChatGPT to help you with your lead gen every single week. You don't have to do it every day, but try to do it every week. Try to get into a system of making sure all your calls are recorded, you have the transcripts, you're uploading it to ChatGPT or your favorite AI tool, and you're using this to help you craft messages, help you with follow-ups, and even help you with content. Now, if you want to help building this out, the best place to start is our free 90-day jumpstart. Go grab it. It's a course. It's an entire system that will help you get up and going with LinkedIn social selling in record time. And if you want access to all the things I showed you and more, you can join us in the Next Wave membership. And if you like this video and you want more videos on how to leverage AI for social selling and lead generation, let me know below in the comments.